but you know I'm high speed Lil' mama got the juice, always up in high seat Lil' baby ice my wrist, yeah, I call it ice cream Know they wanna fuck with me, so they moving nicely Yeah, I'm riding fast, yeah, you know I'm high speed Lil' mama got the juice, always sip in high seat Lil' baby ice my wrist, yeah, I call it ice cream Know they wanna fuck with me, so they moving nicely I don't ask for much, but I still get what I want Niggas think they charming, but they been out of luck I'm the coldest, so I really ain't no reason to front Nah, I don't touch the weed, but I just wanna be blunt I'm in the rain, riding in the stain You not in my lane, we not the same We are not the same, fuck up on my way I'm on a plane, flying to LA Cooling like I'm Dre, I'm in the bay Chilling with the bay, these niggas gotta pay, yeah This shit is massive, now nah, we ain't What up, y'all? Welcome back to Dingle Fanatic TV. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll give you a second. You did it? Thank you. If you are a part of the gang, welcome back. I was about to curse, but I need to stop cursing. Welcome back. What up? Welcome, everybody. Today, as you can see, I am doing a video on the Nike Off-White Waffle racers i'm just gonna do both shoes because it's the same shoe no point to do two different videos on the same shoe doesn't make sense i've had these shoes for a while i got both of them at the same time on StockX. per usual you guys know that i am a stock x shopper these to me are very dope um but not that many people like them i all through you know youtube and stuff like that i watch other people's videos and they literally say they do not like this shoe they feel like it is one of the worst shoes ever which i appreciate because guess what that means the value is low and guess what i got these shoes for each i got them at 150 each on stock x which is great not obviously not including taxes and fees but at the end of the day 150 for a pair of off-white sneakers that i personally like i mean where could you go wrong in my opinion so let's talk about it. The bottom, as you can see, they have spikes. For all my track people, you know, once you walk on these things, it is weird, okay? Especially on concrete, whatever. But these aren't metal spikes, these are rubber spikes. So basically, when you're on the floor, your foot kind of like slides over for the first couple times wearing them. Me personally, I feel like I got used to them. That could just be me though, everybody could be different. They, you know, they might feel the same every single time they walk in them. But for me, it went away after the first couple days. Also, I noticed at the bottom, because yes, I've worn the shoes already. I've noticed at the bottom that I am missing a good amount. So that's maybe why it stopped sliding so much. But, you know, who knows. If you have wide feet, I highly do not recommend. Because as you can see in both of them, focus, focus. It is very skinny. Like, look at this. Like, this is skinny as heck. Like, it's not that much room um, for your feet to go, unfortunately. So if you're wide foot, flat foot, these are very, it's a very narrow shoe. It's, it might not be for you, unless you want your feet to hurt. Because I have really skinny feet and these fit pretty snug, especially, you know, like around the sides and stuff like that right here. Let's get into the detail of the shoe. Let that baby in, okay? These right here is this look like plastic. It honestly looks like plastic, but it feels kind of like rubberish. But it's plastic, I think. Who knows? Um, either way, let's check out the detail. We got this orange little tab right here. This right here, it kind of reminds me of like foil. If you can see like closer, it really looks foilish um to me foilish i just made up a new word um and then you can tell like under here like right here in the front area it's definitely suede like this is suede under here and then you have like that nylon material and then you have the same nylon material right about here as well just because of this fabric or material on here this shoe is not like a breathable shoe so if you got like sweaty people feet problems don't wear this shoe because it's definitely not going to work well for you then we got here in the middle it says off-white nike waffle racer whatever that says origin usa 2019 and then if you check out these laces in here and try to get the detail in there 
the detail in those laces these are reflective um so you know when you put a flashlight on it or you're in the dark or whatever you know they're obviously they're, it's gonna reflect and then you know as usual on all off-white sneakers the shoelaces say shoelace in quotation marks also this um tag right here is a little bit different this one right here is plastic but right here is like it's kind of like a suede material and then if you check this out right here this like you can pull this down or whatever and it does say nike um i don't know if some people wear it like that if they just wear it like that for like the aesthetic maybe i don't know i've never actually pulled that down until just now but it basically looks like foil basically looks like you know when you was kids and y'all used to put like grills in your mouth and we put like the foil and be like eh. like that's what i feel like the back of this shoe look like oh and then also like right here it's very random like i i feel like they always kind of do this waiting for it to think this little pink like strip and then lime green right there very random but it's in there i guess this is them like adding color to it and then the spikes do go up the back right here so um generally when i wear these shoes people ask me all the time like is that spikes on your shoes are you wearing track shoes like are you and it's probably the most annoying thing because it's just like i'm not physically wearing track shoes with spikes on them and just walking around like a crackhead like it's obviously just the style of the shoe but i know obviously when you wear Shoes that are very different. Obviously, people are gonna ask you questions. I said obviously like five times, whatever. People are gonna ask you questions. So that's just me being rude. And then, you know, same old, same old, same yellow um, sole that's usually inside and it just has like the off-white, off-white um, logo on there. Uh, in we go. And then let's get to this one. I like this one. Um, I actually love this one. This one matches, obviously, to me, this one I could wear with anything. Like I could put on some shorts or whatever. I, I could wear this literally with anything. This one is a little bit harder. I feel like to me, you have to strategically plan this one out because I mean, it's, it's just, it's literally a bright blue. Like you can't really go too crazy with this but same kind of detail right here as you can see same plastic on it um ah, the blue one is just so dope and then you know same laces in them everything right here i realized on this side this so this pull down one right here is suede this isn't the um like the foil on this one on um, that it is on the other one and then this check is lime green so it's definitely different from the other one. And then the bottom of here is black. I'm just realizing like, I think the bottom part is like coming off or like rubbing off a little bit because you can see like all those blue spots. Cause you know, I have worn them, but I've actually only worn these twice. So pretty much I feel like, just look at them closer. For the most part, same exact thing on the shoe obviously on the shoe why do i be doing stuff like that where else would it be on what, what else are we talking about other than sneakers come on now hmm. yeah that's pretty much the same and it's funny because if you guys watch my other videos in the converse i always ask like what those two little holes were for and it's crazy you know obviously in off-white sneakers they do this a lot but i guess in converse they would like you can put the laces through the converse like right here so now i'm seeing it like on here that you can kind of do the same so i had that i was thinking that same thing with my cdgs but whatever y'all already know what time it is i am going to what i'm gonna go put on an outfit for only one pair though because i'm not doing two but i'm gonna put on an outfit and i'm gonna be back and we just gonna be two and all i'm supposed to come back with an outfit but then i really thought about it I had a better idea. I heard the police. They coming for me. When they get here, tell them I wasn't here. No, I'm playing. But I have a better idea. So I was looking at my Instagram. And 
I've worn both of these shoes before. And they were both my birthday outfits. I basically, I remember when I ordered them, it's crazy because my actual fits for the shoes didn't come in on time, so I was very disappointed. But I did end up, uh, I did end up putting something together. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put up both pictures in the video. And basically, I want y'all to tell me which one y'all like better. I feel like I gotta go through the fit, you feel me? I got on the, with the blue ones, so I'm gonna go with that first. And I'm gonna put it right here so y'all can see. I got on a white Travis Scott t-shirt with some black um, sweats, joggers, track pants. I'm gonna go with track pants. These are more track pants and they got the little zipper um, on the side as well. I didn't have, I didn't open the zipper because it wasn't really necessarily with this shoe. But I mean, it got the, you know, aesthetic going on and then in the back of the Travis Scott shirt it has like orange purple and then it has that lime green and blue base like kind of like around the back of the shirt like as you can see or whatever so that's kind of how I tied in the you know the shoes with the shirt I wasn't necessarily really trying to be like matchy matchy so I didn't really care that much that there was like orange and all that stuff in there and then for the white pair I did a army and blue uh, army and blue billionaire boys club t-shirt and um yeah so basically the color is just army and then in the back it had like the blue running through it which this shoe doesn't really have that much blue but um i just thought the army looked good with 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 this one honestly and then i had on like black ripped jeans or whatever and then y'all go ahead and comment below per usual and y'all let me know what it is you know what i'm saying y'all let me know if y'all like one better or two better which one went harder? Um, and we just gonna leave it at that. So, per usual, I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, if you haven't already, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Like, y'all get me there, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on all social media platforms, and I'm gonna see y'all boys.